So apparently, Navy Fed is canceling people's people's gold biz credit cards overnight, just like that. So what the hell is going on here? In today's conversation, what I want to do, I want to talk about a situation that was brought over to us by a viewer, and uh, he said that Navy Fed canceled his gold biz uh, this gold biz credit card overnight, just like that. So he had a seventy eight thousand limit on that card. He never had a problem. So you know, he said, "What the f." And we are saying the same thing too. So if you want to know more about this uh, issue, I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation. And more importantly, I want you to contribute here. We need you. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ever ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we, we had a call. We had an email from uh, one of our viewers, and uh, he said that NFCU canceled my GoBiz credit card overnight, just like that. And I had I used to have a $78,000 limit on the card, and he, ne he never had a problem with the uh, navy fed okay so he just like hey what the f and we said the same thing too so what's really going on here and um, your name is michelle michelle you are 48 years old you're a male i mean of course and um i want to say here that i'm going to summarize your situation so our viewers who are very smart who are very intelligent can also pitch in because we need to have collect collective wisdom here when we have problems like this it's important that we actually get insights from every source so that we can construct for you a preferable solution so michelle i know you were listening you promised to listen so okay so you live in dc you live in washington dc and you own a bakery so it's very important and um you basically so that that bakery is is uh, has been in existence since 2005 so it's been a, it's been it's been quite a time now so you had you must have been successful because uh if the bakery is still in existence nearly uh two decades two decades after it has been uh, created that's really good okay kudos for that so basically you used to have a seventy eight thousand dollars limit on the gold base credit card actually this is a business credit card for those of you who are not familiar with the gold biz it's a business credit card okay and you have always paid on time that's what you said and uh, you also said that you have been you have uh, divorced you were divorced last year okay and you have three kids okay well the divorce and the three kids are not directly correlated to this business uh, this uh, business uh, credit card situation but thank you so much for actually uh, spilling a lot of beans into, into your private life we appreciate that so that's your situation so dear viewers i want you all to actually pitch in i want you to chime in okay it's important as i said before to actually give michelle the best solution we can we will try at the, this show our team has to try to concoct a series of solutions but it's always better for for us to get the maximum of uh, uh, of insights for our friend michelle okay so please pitch in First things first. So you said Navy Fed just canceled my Go Biz credit card overnight, just like that. What do you mean, Michelle? I'm speaking to you, son. Son, hey, hey, hey. What do you mean by canceled my card? Because the thing here is that you know Navy Fed doesn't do that. They don't do that. That's not how they proceed. We've been with them for more than 32 years. We know they don't proceed that way. So I really want you to clarify. I want you to want to. I want you to elucidate for me the words or the words canceled my credit card. Did you receive an advance warning? Okay. What did they say when you contacted them? When you reached out to them? Because they must have said something. Because see, the thing is, I don't believe that things happen for things just happen like that. It's not how things work. Things don't happen for a reason uh, without a reason. There must be something. So what I'm trying, I'm not trying to say that you didn't say it, you didn't give us all the kind of information. But what I'm trying to say here is that if you have a stable situation, if you have been paying, if you have been making payments on time, if your uh, if your 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 bakery, your company has been profitable, why would why, why would Navy Fed just cancel your credit card? 
I mean, especially if you have such, if you had such a high limit, seventy-eight thousand dollars, they wouldn't just close your account overnight without warning. So I really don't, you know. Please, you can clarify for us in, in the comment section below, or you can send us an email. I, I want to know why. Why did they do this? Because you must have received an advance warning. If not, you need to contact them, which I think you already did. So what did they say? Is your business having problems? Talk to me about that, Michelle. And please, don't you try to razzle dazzle me. You know, we really, we are here sitting at the, at, the, at the family table. We are trying to find solutions for you. So you got to be really clear. Things don't happen randomly. Everything is about action, reaction. See, this whole universe was based on logic action reaction so is your is your business having problems now did you file for bankruptcy or have you filed for bankruptcy at another company see navy fed is constantly running uh, you know running a soft pools or hard pools on your ass if you're a member and you have a credit card because they need to cover their ass too they need to mitigate uh, they need to mitigate credit risk okay so did you file for bankruptcy what is your business current financial situation talk to me about that michelle Okay, talk to me about that. And again, I want clear answers. I want your your your, your business net worth, your equity, okay, total assets minus total liabilities at your business level. What is your cash flows? What is actually your, your statement of cash flows? What is your uh, your income statement, your PL? So those are important metrics. Those are important metrics that will show whether or not your business is profitable. But again, you know, we need to have clear answers before we can actually, I mean, in today's conversation, we'll try to give you, uh, I say, uh, good solutions, but it's important for you to el to elucidate um, a series of uh, topics for us so we can have a clear idea of what's really going on, okay? Just saying that, hey, they just revoked my, my credit card overnight just like that, and I've always paid on time, divorce, you know, for us, it just sounds too good to be true. I think you have left out a few things, but it's okay. Well, I'll still give you, uh, I'll still give you our advice anyway. Before talking to you about the solutions, Michelle, be very careful. I want you to be careful, and I want you to tell me everything about your personal financial situation. Are you okay, monetarily speaking, personally? Is you, uh, is you, uh, are your assets more than your liabilities? In other words. Do you have a positive financial uh, financial situation? Are you having a positive net worth? Talk to me about that. Because the thing is, you mentioned something very important. You said, I divorced last year and I have three kids. Okay. Has the recent divorce affected your finances? Because this is very important. You have three kids. So you have, you probably have child support or spousal support. Uh, you know, you're probably making some kind of uh, alimony and whatnot. So has that affected your financial situation personally? This is really important. And were your ex-wife part of the business? If she were part of the business, did she use the GoBiz credit card also? See, I'm trying to really, I'm trying to really see here the implications and the interrelationships that are going on that that goes that go on here. Okay. And so what you want to do here is that I really want to I want you to really dig a little deeper to make sure that your financial your personal financial situation is actually good okay michelle and the thing is do me a favor i want you to do a, a google search on your name and a google search on your business name and see what comes up okay you want to see what comes up maybe there is something going on here in terms of reputation and maybe if it has caught that before you did and they're just like you know what we, you know our ass doesn't want to be associated with that business so they they will just cut they, they will cut you off Okay, they'll cut you off. They're not going to uh, send an, an advance warning because it depends on the seriousness of the issue. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not dramatizing anything here. I'm not even like, you know, I'm not saying there's something going on with you right now in terms of, you know, illegal stuff, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not saying this. But if you if you want to dig and find out what really happened, you need to dig a little further on your part, too. So but the whole thing actually has to do with has to deal with your financial situation. I asked first about your business, your business situation, but now I'm asking about your financial situation. Okay, are you are you scraping by? Are you in financial straits? Are you are you are you just chilling, monetarily speaking? Because you never mentioned the the revenue or the income that you have made last year, or you have made on average for the last 15 or 20 years from the bakery. 
you know because you just told us hey you know you've been a, you've been in existence uh, for the last uh you know since 2005 and you were fine but we had no idea what the the metrics are about the business solution idea number one michelle i want you to contact nmcu as soon as possible i mean i'm sure you already called them up that's fine but you need to call them again because sometimes you can call and speak to a, a rep and another, uh, another day you call again and you speak to another rep and he or she gives you a totally different answer. Okay, so the uh, phone contact is okay, but branch visit is better. If you want to call them up, um, call them up. The number here is 1-888-842-6328. That's the business line. So one 888 Eight four two six three two eight. But as I said, branch visit is a lot better. So if you are in DC, which is great because Navy Fed has uh, has branches in the in the DC area. As a matter of fact, they have a uh, one branch in DC itself. So the address is two eighteen Ninth Street Southeast, Washington DC twenty three seventy four. So that's the address that we are putting uh, on the street, the map for you. Okay, and here is how the, uh, we have a second screenshot here. Here is how that branch looks like. Okay, so when you go to the branch, you gotta be, be you gotta be very uh, composed, okay? Be very articulate about what you want. You wanna contact them, you wanna explain the situation, please explain the situation peacefully. Leave emotion, your emotions at home. Leave your emotions in the fridge. Do not open that fridge when you go to a Navy Fed. Take a good shower, smell good, dress well, be comfortable, feel good, dress sharp, and go to a branch and talk to people civilly in a civil manner. Talk to people in a courteous manner and explain your situation in a quiet voice, okay? Ask what happened. Why did they uh, rescind your credit card? Why did they revoke your credit card? Ask what happened. Maybe it was a glitch. Who knows? For all intents and purposes, you probably were the victim of a glitch. Hey, listen, Navy Fed is a big institution. They might have glitches every now and then. Who knows? Okay. I mean, we've been with them for 32 years and we know they have been through a lot of glitches. They go through a lot of, a lot of glitches, but it's not just them. It happened to every big company. You're talking about a multi-billion dollar behemoth. Of course, they will have, uh, they will have uh, issues every now and then. So maybe it was a glitch. Okay. Or maybe you have been a victim of identity theft. Who knows? Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is that you want to go to a branch, ask, you want to ask questions, bring along your ID, your business financials, your NFCU, business credit, your business debit card, not the credit card, the debit card, and anything that proves you are the, the legit owner of the business, just bring that. Michelle, okay? Solution idea number two. Michelle? You want to ask for a temporary replacement card while the issue is being solved. So the thing here is that, you know, this issue might take a week or two weeks or what have you to be solved. Who knows? But in the meantime, your business must function, must operate. You, you have a business to run. You have credit card. You have uh, bills to pay. I mean, and the thing is, you maybe you you're used to charging a lot of stuff on the credit card during the month and, and pay everything at the end of the month. Right. So. Sometimes it takes a long time to get a replacement credit card, but it can take a week. It can take two weeks, as I said, but it varies by uh, by branches. That's why I want you to go to the branch and place your request there. OK, and it does. It shouldn't it does. It shouldn't cost you anything to replace your credit card because you are not at fault here. At least I hope so. You're not at fault. It's a Navy Fed that canceled your GoBiz overnight credit card just abruptly. So again, if they cancel your credit card and, and you're just asking for a replacement, a replacement card temporarily, okay? And normally a replacement card, a card should not hurt your credit score. No, not at all. Okay, so don't worry about getting a replacement card. No, no, no. They just giving you another plastic piece of plastic to to make payments, to pay your suppliers, to pay uh, to pay uh, whomever you have to pay. All right. And, and and what I want you to really understand here is that when you have a replacement card you need to actually uh update all the recurring payments you have with the new numbers because the old card number will be uh, declined if the, unless you update your payment information because the when you get a replacement card it's, it's not the same numbers that you have unless if it does you a big favor which they can 
by just give you by just giving you the same card as they have before in other words they can replace the the, the new card they can, they can give you a replacement card with the same number same numbers okay so long story short you want to ask for a temporary replacement card so this is good it is actually a, a stop gap measure that you can have you can put in place while the issue the main issue the main issue is being solved okay and only the lord knows how how long it would take for that issue to be solved and uh, if you're lucky it will take a few days if not it will take a few a few weeks who knows but you gotta survive in the meantime i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Sweet Kiwi Show. We are having a situation today, and uh, our good viewer, Michelle, and uh, he's 48. He lives in D.C., and he owns a bakery. And he said that he's actually telling us that maybe if they just cancel his GoBiz uh, credit card overnight, and we are trying to give him solutions here, okay? And dear beloved viewers, and you also, your, your, your brain, we want to pick your brain. Please, your insights are welcome. You want to pitch in below in the comment section give us your side of the story tell us what to do tell michelle what to do okay so michelle solution idea number three you want to put a, a temporary stop to your go B's automatic credit card payments this is very important because what what you don't want to do is that you don't want to have a, a problem with your business credit that's the thing because if people charge your uh, your credit card automatically every month and something happens where you know, maybe if it cancel your, your your credit card and you haven't had a uh, a stopgap measure, what's going to happen here is that your payments will be declined, and this could affect this can affect your business credit, your payday your paydex score, your uh, Equifax commercial score, your uh, Experian business score. Okay, those are the three important business credit scores that will uh, that really matter for your business and you don't want anything to happen to, to those uh, scores okay because if suppliers report those declined payments to, to those bureaus they are going to adjust your business credit score detrimentally in other words the, the new score will be adversarial to you you don't want that okay so you want to start with the company you are paying so you want to call all of you know whether it is a monthly streaming service or a phone a phone company a, uh, an office supply company office supplies company you have a pesky subscription whatever it is you want to contact the company's billing department first okay talk to them you want to read your contract so are you stopping automatic payments or ending the service entirely okay be clear and get and get confirmation this is really important be clear and get confirmation always contact your uh, your card issuer tell navy fed what's really happening here use the, some card tools and the thing is check with your payment service okay i want you also to save your records if you speak to a, a company and you told them to cancel uh, the, the payments make sure that you have a record of the conversation so one once you stop payments watch your card bill okay now obviously if they just cancel your gobi's uh, card your last credit card statement will show you some uh, expenses okay but my thing my thing here is that once you ask for a, a stop to the to the payments make sure that you actually are able to find another way to make those payments either this could be through a temporary card you probably have another card and this could be through your personal credit card which i don't recommend anyway but you have to do whatever you have to do if uh, you don't have another business credit card but if you had another business credit card this would be this could be great to charge to make those charges on that card solution idea number four michelle i'm still having a conversation with you you want to ask navy fed to reactivate the card or issue a new one with the same limits and conditions and this is why i was just telling you to go to a branch you want to sit down and, and ask them so you want to have a con so when you sit with them figure out why the account was closed in the first place because again everything you you just told us looks so rosy on paper i really don't understand why they closed your card in the first place why because navy fed does not operate that way like i said we have known them for for many decades they do not operate that way they are very disciplined 
they're very methodical in, in their decision making they are very they're very transparent so they'll let you know whatever they do they will let you know so basically you need, to, you need to figure out why the account was closed in the first place okay you want to gather the relevant information the relevant documentation about the, about the card so you also want you want to also want to make sure that you have a confirmation from the branch manager that they will look into this for you but it's important they need to reactivate the card or issue a new one with the same limit and conditions because you know what if you're not at fault if it's not your fault if you if it was a glitch then they need to uh, they need to fix that that issue uh, by they i mean navy fed it is their responsibility as a credit card issuer to actually take care of your, of uh, their uh, card holders okay and again everything i'm saying here it's assuming that the situation the little problem did not come from you okay but because if it came if it came from you then you have you have to be the one to fix it first okay and uh, so you want to ask for the account to be reopened simple as that don't try to complicate things don't try to razzle dazzle navy fed with a confusing statement no just just say very clearly i ask you respectfully to reopen to reopen my account because it was closed it was closed mistakenly okay and so how long does a closed account stay on your credit card well the thing is that uh navy fed has uh, the opportunity not to report your closed account on on their credit reports yeah they can do that they can if they realize the mistake came from them they don't have to uh report this to uh to uh, the credit the credit bureaus okay and so a closed account does not hurt your credit it does not hurt your credit however there are some situations where they, it could hurt your credit for example, it depends why it was closed, okay? And, and, and a closed account can actually uh, provide a higher credit utilization ratio. It can lower the average age of accounts. It can lower your credit mix. This is assuming that Navy Fed reports your business credit card to your personal credit, uh, to your personal credit, uh, credit score, credit report, okay? So I would just want, I would just want you to see the interrelations between those two things. Business credit card, personal credit score. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate that. In today's conversation, we spoke about the uh, situation that Michelle, a 48-year-old from uh, D.C., exposed to us, having a problem with his gold biz credit card being uh, closed overnight just like that even though his fundamentals are kind of high his financial fundamentals are kind of high and i hope we gave you a few ideas solutions or so solution ideas to help you but hey please beloved viewers you are very smart you are very intelligent you are very sharp please comment below let's contribute to this uh, situation let's contribute to what's really happening here so that uh michelle can actually get his card his business credit card reopened and go on and just run his business his bakery as uh, efficiently as possible thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it and the precious lord bless you i will see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous